my channel uh, so I'm just uh, sharing my opinion about the uh, tension of Iraq and US so as of now the US uh, have 3,000 soldiers board flight for our Braga to have deployed in Middle East after Soleimani death so there is 2 million 100 Filipino workers are working in Middle East so our government is uh, ordered a mandatory repatriation of all OFW in the Middle East so I I am OFW here in UAA, United Arab Emirates. So our government is saying that the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation stressed that it is closely monitoring recent regional development. Emirates news agencies WAM reported. The ministry also emphasized the importance of declaring current tension through dialogue and political solutions in the current situation. In a statement issued on Wednesday, it's also confirmed that the with the recent development UAE citizens or residents visitors will not be affected. The ministry said that the sector of across the country continue to operate as normal. Dubai listed among the 10 world best cities in Expo 2020. Dubai has been held as a number one city in the Middle East and North Africa by Resonance Consultancy, a North Africa based on tourism, city and real estate advisor. Dubai also ranked six among of the world best city in Expo 2020. According to the Resonance Consultancy, the Middle East highest ranking city has inspired other regional capitals to reach for the sky. The Emirate comes at a two world in the deep place category, for which the tourism advisors cited influential factors like crime rates, neighborhood, uh, and camps landmarks. Resonance Consultancy ranked the million best cities in the population of the, um, the rank based on the combination statistical performance and qualitative evaluation by the local and visitor in 22 areas grouped into six core categories. Filipino expats feel safe in UAE. The country has repatriated been seated as long among safe place in world because in the strong police civilian relations continuously being nurtured to wind out bad elements. This is according to Lieutenant Khaled Muhammad B. Madaser, Dubai police spokesman, who is in an inclusive interview with the Filipino Times, said of the Art law enforcement in the digital age, uh, coupled with the community support and the formula in keeping crime at bay. Curtis has initiated regular town halls meeting with Dubai police, the third of the and most recent, which has held at least two weeks ago. The people love UAE. Lieutenant Banser said. People in the community give law enforcement agencies leads about possible crime in progress and cooperative in going investigations. The community, the people love the UAA. They didn't self call the police. They love the country so much. They don't want crime to spread, he said. Lieutenant Benazir said the UAA is the most progressive in terms of law enforcement technology. We have cameras everywhere, he said. He added that at police category areas according to the number of crimes being committed there such it becomes hot pot. The moment is rich in certain 
means mark after which force comes into the certain in the situation. Lieutenant Bannister also said that in keeping up with the task of ensuring law and order, security guard, including those workers at malls, need to undergo at least three weeks of training in policies academy before they get the job. They need to undergo training to know how to respond to certain situation, he said. According to global consulting firm Marer, in its 21st annual quality in living survey for 2019, Dubai and Abu Dhabi are the safe cities to live in the Middle East. The survey comp compared to 30 cities considered at the global assistance destination for expatriation across multiple factors. This, as UAE official also recently said, UAE has been tagged as the safest place in the world, with up to 96 percent of residents saying feel safe to walk outdoor at night. So, validating this uh, insight of overseas Filipino workers in UAE who themselves at least how safe the country is. I have been to quite a few countries but the safest I feel in UAE beyond my expatriation said Rosaline Bailosis, Administrative Officer. Sally Kalayag, who has been in the UAE for the past 13 years, said, UAE government really has a good heart working for benefits of the people of different nationalities living in this country. Ailer Taginod uh, Langkai, who has been in the UAE for eight years and is working security guard for a part, said. So, maraming salamat po at uh, safe po kami dito sa UAE. Lahat po ng nagtatrabaho sa UAE, safe po kaming lahat. Nangako po ang gobyerno namin, hindi kami kasali sa anumang kaguluhang mangyayari, so... Sana po yung mga apiktadong OFW, lalong-lalo nila sa Iran at Iraq, sana po uh, gabayan mo po sila Lord na makauwi po sila ng safe, na wala pong mangyayari. At kami rin po dito sa UAE nagdadasal na maging safe po tayong lahat. Uh, uh, sana po manalig ang peace sa buong mundo, uh, let be peace on earth, sana po. Uh, may bago ang isip ng US at Iran at itigil na nila ang kaguluhan na nangyayari sa kanilang bansa na marami pong nadadamay, milyon-milyon po. Hindi lang po OFW, marami din pong mga ibang lahi na sa ibang lugar na deploy sa Middle East. Thank you so much for watching my channel.